Obviously, when we interact online, we want to show the best persona of who we are. You know, I'm certainly personally not going to go and put up a, a profile um, of myself on ResearchGate, an academic social media platform, that is a picture of me when I get out of bed. So I think some effort needs to be taken to consider how you wish to present yourself to the online and offline world. I'm not so sure about distinguishing. I am so sure about setting limits. There are things that I would privately share with my friends, with my family, with my husband. And all of these three areas are also different. These relationships are different. Then I would share with the rest of the world. So I think keeping something back is important advice to young people who are venturing onto social media. And so distinguishing between your offline and online self, I think you should build a profile that is as true a character of you as possible. However, there are pitfalls in doing so. Google, over the last five years, has been pushing forward the idea of the real name. And with real names and real photographs come the ability to do real mining. And so it's data mining on absolutely every part of an individual's identity. This data is sorted and placed in a non-aggregated fashion and unsold to third parties who take this information and are using this to exploit and manipulate you as an online consumer, especially if you have cookies enabled and other things. So there is a danger with having copious amounts of information on an online profile. I think if your job does not dictate that you require it, I would almost consider opting out, or at least placing as minimal amount of information as possible on the web. I certainly would not place my real birth date on the, on the web. And so in my case, I have many birthdays. The only problem is, with the ones that I've defined in different social media contexts, your true friends actually know when your birthday is on and will accidentally divulge that precious piece of information rampantly on an online social media platform. What do you mean your birthday is on January 1 uh, of 1975? And yet others who believe this will come into the to, to university and, and bring you a, a bouquet of flowers. So you can't win. There are repercussions, but how do you distinguish between an online and offline profile, I think it's by the bounds that you set. I think we should keep back information that is personal, personal to our, our identity. I think you present the best person you can forward within your job context. But beyond that, I would say less is best and less is more.